The leader in tankless water heating, Noritz, has been making water heaters since 1951. Now we have changed the game with a revolutionary new product, the EZTR40. Now with the ability to vent through existing B-Vent and top mount water connections, Noritz has made replacing a 40-gallon tank easy. This quick how-to installation video will walk you through all of the steps in installing this innovative product. To begin your installation, you will need a few tools. Make sure you have a flathead screwdriver or nut driver, 2-inch PVC cutters or box cutter, a tape measure, and a marker or sharpie. Also make sure you follow along with our EZTR40 startup guide. Let's start the installation. First, make sure to shut off the main water and gas line to the home. Next, drain the existing tank and start preparing for its removal. Next, disconnect the connections on the hot water and cold water, as well as the gas line. While the tank is draining, you can remove the existing B vent from the water heater to the ceiling. Once the tank has been drained, remove and set it aside. Be careful when removing, as sediment has built up in the tank, making it heavier than it was when it was new. Next, you're going to take your tape measure and measure from the bottom of the B vent all the way to the roof termination. This will tell you how much flexible vent you will need. You can make a mark on the flexible vent to let you know when you've reached the roof termination. Sometimes elbows can feel like the roof termination, so this will be a good guide. Grab the bag mark step one. Insert the base junction support to the B vent that is sticking out from the ceiling. If no B vent is sticking out, you will need to attach a bucket connector. Firmly tighten the base junction support clamp to the B vent. Be careful not to over tighten as it may distort the rubber. Check to see if it is firmly fixed by pulling on it by hand. Take the flex feeder and push it into the end of the flex pipe. Take the flex pipe with the flex feeder and insert it into the base junction. You may want to straighten the end first to make sure it slides up the pipe as smoothly as possible. Continue to slide the flex pipe up until you hit the roof termination. Note the distance you measured in the beginning to make sure you get all the way to the top. Make a mark on the flex pipe right at the base junction so you can check for movement during the rest of the installation. Make sure the marking does not slide and firmly tighten the flex pipe into place by tightening the flex pipe clamp. Do not over tighten. Give it a pull to make sure everything stays in place. Next, you will need the bag mark step two. You will need to go to the roof for the next steps of the installation. Once you are on the roof and have located the termination, simply remove the rain cap and place it in the bag mark step two. Use a marker to mark the original position of the flex pipe at the upper tip of the B vent. This is an important step. Next, you will slide the top flex support over the flex pipe while holding the pipe in place. Once the top flex support reaches the B-Vent upper tip, press it firmly into the B-Vent. Be sure not to compress the B-Vent when pushing the top flex support into the B-Vent. Make sure you can see the mark you made at the top end of the top flex support. Next, you will need to inspect the rain cap for the brand name. Once you have found the brand, grab the cutting guide and hold it up next to the flex vent. Make a mark next to the brand you have and cut the flex vent with the PVC cutter or box cutter at your mark. Make sure to cut a straight line across the vent. Also make sure not to drop anything down the flex pipe. If anything does fall down the flex vent, simply remove from the bottom. Push the diffuser gasket onto the flex pipe from the top to the end, making sure it seats flush at the top. Push the diffuser onto the diffuser gasket already attached to the flex pipe to lock. Place the original rain cap back in place. Return from the roof to the installation of the water heater and grab bag mark step three. Attach the water heater to the wall at the appropriate height according to the chart in the installation manual. New top mounted water connections make installation much faster. Connect the existing half-inch gas, cold, and hot water pipes, as well as the condensate drain pipe. When you connect the water piping, keep in mind the venting. If the water piping will interfere, make sure to adjust the water piping to allow enough space for the venting. 
Next, take the 45 degree elbow and apply lubricant to the gasket portion. Set the connector ring and insert the coupler fitting into the 45 degree elbow and lock into place. Take the connected coupler fitting and elbow and insert it into the vent on top of the EZTR water heater. When inserting, there is tension when it passes through the O-ring within the vent connector pipe. Continue to insert until it reaches all the way to the base of the heater vent connector pipe. Make sure the elbow does not interfere with the water lines. Next, take the flex pipe and cut it to the appropriate length. A little long is always better than short. It cannot be lengthened. Check the installation manual for more diagrams of correct and incorrect installations. Pull the flex sleeve over the flex pipe under the ceiling. Then push into the bottom of the base junction support body. Check to make sure the flex pipe is sticking out from the flex sleeve. If it's not sticking out, cut the flex sleeve until the flex pipe sticks out. The flex sleeve should be cut in its compressed state. Take the coupler O-ring and coupler retainer. Connect the O-ring to the end of the flex pipe and then attach the retainer. Pull out the connected 45 degree elbow and coupler fitting from the top of the heater. Lubricate the coupler O-ring and then attach to the 45 degree elbow connection. Once connected, reattach the 45 degree elbow assembly back into the unit and secure. When inserting, there is tension when it passes through the O-ring, so make sure it reaches all the way to the base of the equipment. Calculate the total vent length using the measured length in the beginning of the installation to determine dip switch setting. Follow the unit installation manual included in the carton box of the unit to set the correct dip switch setting. Plug the unit in and test the equipment to ensure there are no leaks of any kind. Extend the lower end of the flex sleeve to the sleeve clamp connector on the top portion of the heater. Tighten with two screws provided and apply aluminum tape covering the connection portion. Make sure it fits firmly by pulling by hand. That concludes the installation of our new EZTR40. Keep in mind the major advantages. You can install the new EZTR40 through existing B vent. Top mount water connection save time on installation. Half inch gas line will connect directly into existing gas line. Visit us at www.noritz.com/professionals for more information about this exciting new product.